Hi there, today we'll be making a dew shield for this 4 inch Max Toft telescope. Um, it's going to be a dew shield with a slight difference, it's going to be a carbon fibre effect dew shield, so hopefully it will look really nice. I've not made a carbon fibre effect one before, so I can't guarantee this is going to go perfectly, but we'll see how it goes and if it's useful for anybody out there who wants to do similar, then that's, that's great. First of all, I'd like to thank First Light Optics for loaning me this telescope, this 4-inch Maxitoff AZ Pronto, to do re little reviews like this and little tutorials for beginners and more experienced astronomers like. So thank you to First Light Optics, and if you don't want to make a dew shield and you'd rather buy one, they do have AstroZap dew shields for sale on their website, so I'll link those below. But if you fancy giving it a go and making your own, it is quite affordable. So we'll go to it now. Um, so the ingredients of this dew shield are a sheet of foam from a hobbycraft shop, which costs one pound. Some sticky back Velcro, also from the hobbycraft shop, and that was about four pounds fifty. I bought this roll of 3D carbon fibre effect vinyl. Uh, wrap from eBay quite a while ago. I can't remember how much it costs, but I, I'm guessing it was just a, a few pounds. So what we're looking at, we're looking at less than ten pounds for a nice, hopefully a nice looking dew shield. So the first thing to do is if you get your dust cap, your objective cap from your telescope, and then roll the foam around the circumference to mark out your length to make your dew shield. So you want to go all the way around and you want to have a bit extra for adding your velcro. So looking at this, it's already at a good size so I don't think I need to cut that down at all. Next step is to get the very pretty carbon fibre effect vinyl wrap. This is a 3D effect one I bought from eBay a while ago, I've been looking for a, a purpose for it. This just so happens to be the same whip as my foam. So what I'm going to do is just turn it all over and if you look on the back of the vinyl wrap you'll see lots of squares so you can easily cut it nice and straight to the desired shape. You can use that to keep nice and square and mark it out. Let's have a look. Go to there. Yeah. So basically I'm just going to cut along the line that's already on there. Here comes the fun bit from what I remember of this stuff. It's very sticky, so I've got, I've got to get this right the first time. So unpeel it. If I just do a little bit, like that, I'll just unpeel it a little bit and then try and line up that edge with the edge of my foam and then I'm going to try and do like the tablecloth trick where you pull the, the sheet from underneath it and hopefully it all lines up nicely. This could all go hor horribly wrong. We'll see. Let's line that up. Please. So as I'm pulling on the backing to the vinyl wrap, I'm pressing down to make sure it sticks without any bubbles. Which is easier said than done. Probably do a rolling pin or something. Okay. 
So I'm just cutting off the excess vinyl so it matches nicely with the foam now. But there we have the basic foam and vinyl all stuck together nicely. Don't get any bits off it now. So all we do now is get our sticky back Velcro. And this is the point in time where you realise you've accidentally bought Velcro squares instead of strips. Oh, I'm an idiot. We can make it work though. We'll make this work. Well, one's just flown off somewhere, so that's not a good start. So when we roll this over, we want to apply the other side of the Velcro to where this is going where this is going to join. So we need to stick the other side of the vel the other Velcro squares need to go. Let's take this out again. So the other Velcro squares need to go along this edge here. So when we fold it over, they meet and it forms a nice tube. More rolling pin action. Let's go and test this out on the, the telescope itself. So let's put this on the telescope about the third way down. So we've got plenty of area to stay gripped to the telescope and plenty of length still to allow blocking of stray light and any to stop any damp air coming down the, the tube and sticking to the optics. And we'll just stick that on with the Velcro. And there we have it. That is the view shield. And that's not looking bad at all. Bring that a bit closer to the uh, camera. You can see that we're not blocking any light entering the telescope. Place it around this way. And that's ready to go. Hope you found that useful. If you want to make one yourself, it's, uh, you can get these bits from eBay and hobby stores. So just to recap, it's a bit of sticky back vinyl. Um, you can pick whatever pattern you like. I, I often go with the carbon fibre effect. A bit of foam from your craft store. Some sticky back Velcro and then you just need a pair of scissors and a pen or a pencil for marking out and jobs are good in. And that's all for today. Hope you found it useful and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks, bye.